welcome back. Um, this video is clearly a little out of focus. I did change the focus settings on the camera. Um, still not quite right, and I don't have a screen, so I'm not able to see it as I'm uh, doing art and stuff. So I can't. I didn't know this was happening until I was editing it. Um, so I'm gonna have to look into that and do some tests. Um, I thought taking it off autofocus was going to solve the problem, and it did. But about halfway through the video, I think it, it, I think I figured it out. I did stop and look at it. Um, but yeah, so in this video, I'm using the products that I've reviewed so far, um, that I've dabbled with and dabbling with them all together. So this is going to be a series called Dabble With Me, which is sometimes I'm going to be putting things in there that I have recently tried, and sometimes it's going to be uh, just me doodling and talking and uh, yeah, you guys are welcome to dabble with me. Try something new. Um, if whatever I'm doing inspires you to pick up the pencil, dabble with me. Um, try something new. Uh, so yeah, here is, I'm doing a camera. This is actually the camera that I use for my videos, which is, um, it's a Samsung camera, the NX Mini. Um, I've had it for a while now. Uh, I just hadn't really used it for videos yet, um, mostly photography and things, which is another thing I've tried to dabble with, so, um, yeah, but right now, um, with this image I did, the first layer around the camera is all watercolor, the second layer is gouache, um, and then in the middle there's the um, Samsung camera, and, uh, yeah, I do end up using the pearlescent watercolors that uh, I did a video on um, as kind of the metallic parts, the silver parts of the camera. Um, and I'm clearly not being that careful around where the lines are because I plan on using, there it is, gouache for the middle, which covers up all of those watercolor and makes much cleaner lines. So. Um, yeah, I had a really fun time using all of these together. Um, the pearlescent watercolors, they don't really show up that well, in my opinion, unless you are hanging a picture that you're making up on a wall that's close to a window or in a very specific lighting from a window. You don't really see it. So on the, on the video, you're most likely not going to be able to tell where I put the watercolor. Um, the, sorry, the pearlescent watercolors, but, um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, but the camera is mostly gouache. Um, this is all different shades of gray that I did from watering down the black that comes with the gouache. Um, and then, yeah, I'm trying to think what else I used. At the end, I did use um, a white gel pen, which it's not really my favorite, but I have it, so I decided to use it. Um, it's a Ranger white opaque gel pen. Um, it's pretty good, but it it does catch on the paper sometimes, which makes it a little harder to use. So, um, yeah, but I'm super excited. I feel like I'm learning really quickly more about the editing because. I've been posting every day so far, so um, I've, it's kind of been like a, a, a crash course in video editing for me, which is kind of fun. I like it. So um, I don't know that it, the everyday thing is going to keep up. It's just that's what happened to work this weekend. Um, I do have a, a job besides, you know, this isn't my job. I'm just doing this for fun. <laughs> so um, I do have a job. So during the week, videos probably won't be daily. Over the weekend, it's a little easier for me to make that work. But um, yeah, I'm going to post as frequently as I can because I do want to get better at this. I would like to learn more tips and tricks about um, you know, either different art supplies or video tools or even photography tools. I don't know. Teach me anything. Um, if there's something I should try, let me know in the comments. I, I really have worked with all sorts of mediums, but I, like, I'm not going to claim to be an expert on any. I did not go to art school. Um, I have no sort of degree surrounding art. My degree is not even close to art. Um, this is just stuff that I like to do. I do art basically every night when I get home, so I figured why not film it 
and learn how to dabble in editing. So that's why I'm here. So right now, you can kind of see I'm. this is when I'm putting down the pearlescent colors. You can't really tell, at least while it's wet. Um, I'll sh throw up a picture at the end when it's dry, and you can let me know if you can tell where the pearlescents are. But I did put it on the gray. I'm putting some here and there, kind of like in the clouds of color around it. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Right now, you can't really see it very well. Oh, and there's the focus problem again. It got better there for a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, right now I'm using a micron liner just to smoothen up the edges, make sure everything's put together. Micron liners are definitely my favorite. I've used many other ones, but micron. I always end up going back to microns. Um, yeah, there's the gel pen. <laughs> um, it was there really quick. Um, yeah, so like and subscribe, and I'm going to throw up a list of the things I used right now. And at the end of this list, there will be a section of what I learned with this video, um, such as editing things. Like, I still didn't figure out what was wrong with the camera, and the water watercolor and gouache work really well together. Um, so I will see you guys in the next one, whenever that may be. Thanks for watching.